Despite the axe in his chest, he was still alive. Then, Thanos snapped his fingers, and half of all the Earth turned into dust! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> really scary. That was a good one to be got. Who's next? Well, I've been known to tell a story or two. I've got a story. What? No! It begins in upstate New York, on the banks of the Hudson River. The woke government decreed that all the appliances must be turned over under penalty of death. On Thanksgiving Day, hippies seized all the ovens, some of them the turkeys inside. The people begged us for help, but by then it was too late. late, late, late. They want you to have tofurkey, for God's sake. I'm crying right now thinking about it. They don't want you to trap a bird. Well, you know what they're eating. They're eating little babies, and they're liking it. They'll take everything from you if you let them. <laughs> Young man, you care about your financial future? Your electric bills for you will be tens of thousands of dollars if you let them. They want you to live in a cave and put mud on your face. They're and we know you come back to us like a girlfriend who's been waiting, jilted temporarily. Cut off the hands of people who are trying to bake cookies to let it bleed into the cookie dough. And they made pig entrail pinatas and sold the cookies to their classmates. And that's how the Empire State entered into a state of darkness forever. Who invited the gas company guy? Get some more smoke. Bad news, they're not buying it. Guys like Oily here are trying to scare New Yorkers so that we don't switch from dirty, polluting fossil fuels to clean, renewable energy. It's time to stop putting their profits over our future. See, this is why we don't go camping.